on Amazon. Good afternoon, everybody. Do I kale my teeth? Today we're doing a Q&A. I asked on Instagram for you guys to ask me some questions around nine weeks ago, and we're just getting to it now. So I've never really done a Q&A before, but these are some of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube. So let's just get into it. The most liked question is from Mia Ri. How did you first become self-aware and so introspective? A boy broke my heart and made me rethink all the negative qualities I possess. I don't think I'm that self-aware. I think everyone is born with a level of self-awareness. Like everyone knows when they're doing something good or something bad. For example, like when you're eating late at night some Cheetos and you know you shouldn't be doing that, but you're doing it anyways. Or when you call or text an ex when you're drunk, you know you shouldn't be doing it, but you do it anyways. So I think everyone is born with a level of self-awareness. It's whether or not you choose to harness it and to heighten it and to use it to your advantage and get better. So I think for me, I am always wanting to improve myself as a person. So for me to even just get better as a person, I have to acknowledge the problem at hand and that begins with self-awareness. As far as introspection, I feel like everyone also is born with a level of introspection. It's whether or not you choose to uh, hone in on that or detach from it. I think personally, I've always just been someone who lives in her head. Everything exists in my head I think a lot I think way too much and it can be both a blessing and a curse because in school I can theorize and extrapolate all the things but you know there are a lot of times where it's completely fucking useless journaling and reading has definitely helped to heighten my self-awareness and my introspection in a healthier way um, and I think everyone has that it's whether or not you choose to unlock it unlock the powers of those things Leonats asks, what do you think is braver, sticking with it or moving on? This one also had a lot of likes. I'm doing all the most liked ones first. I think that if the situation can be improved and things can be changed, sticking with it is braver. But I think if things are completely immutable and cannot be fixed as they are and really nothing can be done about it, I think it's braver to move on. Alinda Wo asks a few questions. When are you starting your own podcast, LLJK? So I get this question asked a lot. Um, I It's in the works, that's all I have to say, it's in the works. We're gonna rip all the audio off the existing AM with Amy's and we're just gonna try and upload it onto the podcast app. So stay tuned, it's, it's a project in the making. And she also asked, well, how do you make new friends? How do you maintain your friendship when you feel like you're drifting apart from each other? How I make new friends, and I'm someone who makes friends very easily. I just have a very friendly nature, and I think part of it, actually I think I attribute most of my friendly nature to being open. If someone asks me how my day is, I'll be like, oh, I'm, I'm having a great day, I want to do this, what about you? I'm the type of person, if you interact with me, you will get a full interaction. Part of making new friends is just having a really open personality and be really inviting. You are a space in this universe, and um, just like a home, you want to be inviting and you want to be friendly you want to be warm and so I think um, just being really open-minded and not being afraid of people because I think uh, so many people are afraid and suspicious of other people yeah there might be a reason to be but not all the time and so if you're in a safe space if you know people just be open-minded introduce yourself be really friendly and warm and then how do you maintain your friendship when you feel like you're drifting apart from each other um, I feel like everybody drifts and ebbs I actually I don't think it's drifting I think it's an ebbs I think it's an ebbing and a flowing of friendships and I think it's just because of life and things get busy and I think as long as the person knows that you are caring about them and thinking about them and just shooting them a text like hey I haven't heard from you in a while I'm just hoping you're doing well sending you good vibes just things like that you don't even have to really interact with them but just let them know that you still think about them because you know I might not have time to see all each and every one of my friends but I just want them to know I'm thinking about them all the time and they're, they always have a place in my heart and in my mind. That sounds so cheesy, but just letting people know you care, that you genuinely care. Mina Lee asks, what motivates you when you're feeling lazy? Love you, love you too. And Vega Bond asks, how do you recover in times when you feel lost and unmotivated? I wanted to group these questions together because it seems like a lot of people want to know about mo what motivates me. Also, I just realized there's a whole bunch of boxes out there that's on its way out. I wish I could have blocked it. Anyways, I 
I want to say that motivation for me, um, I have a lot of it. I mean, obviously, not every single day I'm super motivated, but in general, I think I'm a pretty motivated person, and I think that because it comes from a larger sense of self, and I mean that in a way, you can have goals that are material and tangible, like making six figures by 30, or um, owning a house by 35, or, you know, getting married, you know, you can have those type of goals you can have those types of goals but i think for myself personally what keeps me motivated is having a life mission statement and what i mean by that is i think i genuinely want to leave the world in a better place with my ideas because i think that i live definitely in the future as i've said i've i think a lot so i think that this current world is not progressive enough for me and i always feel trapped it's like when people ask me what decade would i live in other than now i would never say the 80s or 90s because i what the homophobia in the 80s the anti-blackness now i just i i am someone who just does not think that present day ideals are even progressive enough for me and so um i just genuinely want to help the world and make it a better place in whatever capacity that is if my video uplifts you or by sharing my ideas with the world and or by creating content that i i like and so i just want to teach and i want to spread ideas and i want to help better humanity i want people i want marginalized communities i want people who feel down and sad to feel empowered and to feel amazing about themselves because everyone should feel amazing about themselves and i just genuinely love and care for humanity and i think that um we're so not nice to each other i think for a while i thought politics is what i wanted to do but politics i realized is way too niche for the type of progression that i think needs to happen on this planet but yeah i think having a life mission statement definitely helps motivate you and that being said i think a lot of motivation what it really is is discipline it's whether or not you do things whether or not you want to or whether or not you feel like it. motivation should be really thought of as discipline are you a disciplined individual can you do things even when you don't feel like it sos bro asks how do you feel about education do you think it was necessary helpful slash important for you to go to college especially doing what you're doing social media influencer are you planning to go to grad school let me just answer that last question no, I am not planning on doing any more school. Unless I work corporate and someone sponsors me to go back to school, I would then, but for now I'm not. It's just not, it's just too much money. I do not believe. And then that brings me into your first question. I believe in education. I think knowledge is power, but I do not believe in the American education system. I think there needs to be a huge education reform in america the institutions are killing us financially and it's such a rigged system do i think it was necessary for me to get a degree at ucla by the way i was a ucla communications major i'm not using anything i learned in school on here except for the fact that maybe i know a little bit more about systematic incarceration and ethnomusicology and economics but um i do think that me as a person i needed college because i love learning for the sake of learning do i think i needed to do it in the american institution no i think i probably could have just read a lot of books and that's why i am constantly always reading because education is free like you can go to the public library google and college was such a personal growing experience for me because i learned so much about myself but um do you need to go in debt for that shit no shaylee.c.ace asks what advice would you give to someone like me in college with a declared major but doesn't really have a passion or knows what she wants to do. Fuck it, genuinely. Unless you're doing law, engineering, or something in the medical field, your degree does not matter. And even if you choose to do any of those hard sciences or law, you can always have time to go back and do that. Yes, it will take more time, but you still have time to go do that. And I think there's so much pressure on trying to figure out what it is you want to do for the rest of your life when you're like, 19 18 20 21 and 
you have the rest of your life to figure that out. I would say go to school and take as many classes in different areas that you're interested in so that you find out what you like and what you don't. Practically speaking, I think you need a lot of experience in whatever career you decide to pursue. So your school and your degree really don't matter. And even if you work in fashion, people don't care if you really have a fashion degree. People, work, people care if you have worked in fashion. And so life, has so many possibilities the world is your fucking oyster like chill the fuck out <laughs> just shang asks how do you deal with comparison and envy i don't genuinely i do not deal with comparison maybe envy a little a little bit but i'll talk about that i think that as you grow older you start to realize that no one is born with the same set of two hands as you no one is born in the same life as you in the same circumstances to the same mom and dad whatever it might be there is no one on this planet born with your life and so it is ridiculously unnecessary to compare your life to someone else's no one is born into the same life as you so it's completely unproductive to compare someone's chapter 40 to your chapter 1 so I feel like I have just completely detached and dropped the idea of comparison in my life and for, as far as envy I think envy can be healthy in the way that it can motivate you if you envy someone's lifestyle or envy someone's work ethic I think that's awesome so then you can use that to motivate you and to inspire you and uh, to make you be like that person and I think uh, envy is like it's I don't think envy is completely bad until it turns into jealousy like pure jealousy it's only important that i'm comparing myself to my past self if i was better than i was an hour ago a day ago a year ago emma.heart asks how do you edit your instagram photos i actually don't really edit any of my photos i might do a6 on instagram but the key to my photos is i try to keep them as unfiltered raw as possible because i hate the way that really filtered photos look i think the most important thing is light and using a really high quality camera so I usually shoot with my Canon 70D and I have like a huge Sigma prime art lens so I think the lens is really important and then sometimes I shoot with my friends uh, Canon mark 3 I think mark mark 3 5d I don't know it's a really expensive camera as well so I think it's mainly about your lens and your lighting Afika Sloman asks are you in the dating game right now fire emoji yes i'm casually dating i yeah that's all i gotta say <laughs> Woo! i don't want to say much else but yes a girl is casually dating okay i'm gonna head out i'm gonna take comey back to my parents house she's right there sleeping um but thank you for watching let me know if you guys like these q a's and i'll see you guys in the next one bye